Hey there, folks. I am the Mighty Plantain, and in case you couldn't tell from the setup here, we are about halfway through the Stone 12 Days of IPA 12-pack. Again, for those of you who aren't familiar and just tuning in for the food review, um, yeah, I do 12 beers in one day <clears throat> when these come out. So halfway through, it seems about the right time to get some food in my system and do a Drunken Munchies review. So, everybody loves stove top stuffing. Remember the old commercial where the kid like decides he wants to screw his mom over and run home? No, no, not run home. He runs to his buddy's house because his buddy's mom is making stove top. Makes the other mom inferior. Anyway, it's an awful commercial, but it's a classic. <sighs> We're doing the stove top cornbread stuffing because who doesn't love fucking cornbread on top of who doesn't love stove top stuffing so the two together must be awesome right and it's bread it's gonna soak up the booze it's gonna be great right so we're gonna do the uh, saucepan directions instead of the microwave because i've done microwave stuff before whatever um, I'm going to bring one and a half cups water and two tablespoons of margarine or butter. In this case, margarine. We got the country crock. Whatever. It was invented to fatten up chickens. And when it killed the chickens, they decided to feed the people. That's all bullshit. Do your fucking research, people, before you share that crap. Facebook. Um, to a boil in a medium saucepan. And then we're going to stir in the stuffing mix and cover it. And then we're going to remove it from the heat and let it stand for five minutes and fluff it with a fork. Fluff and fork. Two words I never thought would come together in any sort of pleasant combination, but mm, maybe they will this time. In the bird... Now, we're not going to fucking shove this in a bird's ass because I don't have a bird to this tonight. Microwave. I already said we're going to skip the microwave. So, yes. Safety first. Cook thoroughly before consuming. Why? Is there something in cornbread stuffing that's going to give me food poisoning? I don't think so. But we're going to follow the directions anyway. And, um, yeah. I'll show you the end result in a minute. As long as it takes to boil water for me. About two seconds for you. All right, so we followed those uh, directions for the stovetop on stovetop cornbread stuffing, and oh my god, it looks great. I fluffed it with the fork, and uh, mm. oh, mm. Mm -mm -mm. now if my mother ever saw this, she'd have a fit. She backs Bell's stuffing. Bell's isn't bad, but stovetop ain't fucking bad either. Especially this cornbread variety. Mmm. And like everything you love about mm, your traditional stuffing, which for me it's like a Thanksgiving thing and a Christmas thing. It's like a holiday thing, correct? Thanksgiving and Christmas. We don't do it on uh, on Easter. On Easter, we do ham and deviled eggs, which hmm, deviled eggs is a wholly different thing. But, hmm. Mm. The stuffing's kind of like a one once a year thing. Unless it's part of a casserole dish, which it's, that's my ex-wife's thing. Um, I don't have any casseroles that I do. Period. <laughs> Much less those that involve stuffing. Mm. <clears throat> but. There's cornbread stuffing. It's everything you love about traditional stuffing. Plus everything you love about cornbread. All rolled up in one. Mmm. Mine's the gravy. I always smother my stuffing in gravy. Mm. Now, mm. 
we're just doing this tonight. But <sighs> if I had the ambition to do a turkey gravy or any kind of gravy, that would just be icing on the cake. By itself, this stove top cornbread stuffing is just plain awesome. Mm. And mm. it's doing an amazing job. I'm soaking up the beer and booze in my gullet right now. Also making me a little bit thirsty because it's salty as hell, but... Mm. Yeah. Being smart and based on the beer consumption, I should be throwing a lot of water down there anyway, so... Mm. It's just an extra incentive to uh, hydrate. Mm. But all that aside, the stove top cornbread stuffing is honestly a perfect perfect compliment to a night of drinking. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's fucking delicious, man. But, you know, don't take my word for it. If you're sober enough to operate a stove or a microwave, follow the directions to the letter. Make it for yourself. Then let me know what you think. <clears throat> Hit me up down below in the comments or email link. While you're down there, don't forget to like and share the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, folks, thanks for tuning in. Drink up and uh, stack on, damn it. Oh, fuck, I'm gone. Mm. On so many levels. Mm. Mm.